past, selling personal lines insurance products was not so challenging. There were usually two products to sell, car insurance and household, and generally two distribution channels, direct to the consumer and the broker network. Today, it is very different. There are now multiple products, not just car and household, but gadget, bicycle, pet, car hire excess, travel, identity theft, golf equipment cover, personal accident, cancer care, and many more. The number of distribution channels is also growing rapidly. As well as the direct-to-consumer and broker channels, there are now the direct websites, partnerships with retailers and shopping chains, selling through affinity groups such as soccer player leagues, teachers unions and golf player associations, sales through call centres, affiliate partners, sales agents and aggregators. The list of alternative distribution channels is expanding quickly. And the introduction of mobile technology adds further to the problem. The challenge for the sales managers is how to control this ever-increasing complexity so that they can sell more products. Meet John. He is responsible for selling Personal Lines insurance products for the Merlin Insurance Company. He works hard, is clever, knows the industry well and wants to succeed. His key aim is to grow product sales for the company. A few months ago, he saw that the complexity problem was a major barrier that was blocking his path to success. It took him too long to get new products into the market. He had to wait ages to get new distribution channels working. He had very limited sales performance data with which to monitor and control sales. And even when he could identify a problem with his marketing mix, he could not change his offering quickly enough before the opportunity evaporated. Then he was introduced to the concept of a sales platform. He saw that this type of system would provide in one solution everything he needed to effectively manage his sales environment. It will provide him with a distribution system for quickly implementing and managing new products and new channels. It would provide him with a ready-made sales management system for implementing the path to purchase for all his sales, a marketing system where he could create marketing campaigns that delivered his message to his customers, and a sales performance dashboard where he could monitor what was working and what was not, and where he could quickly change his marketing mix. In fact, the sales platform would provide him with everything he needed to drive his sales. He was very excited with his discovery. With this type of solution, he could effectively address his complexity problem and therefore sell more products. He needed to find himself a sales platform quickly, so he began to search the internet for a supplier. He found a number of companies that could provide a solution, including a company called Sascom, whose sales platform was named OneView. Sascom gave him the demo of OneView over the web, and he found that this system best suited his needs, because unlike the other products which provided parts of a solution, OneView was one complete, totally integrated sales platform. He now knew a sales platform was what he wanted because he could use it to deploy new products quickly, monitor their progress and change the marketing mix based on real sales performance evidence. The big question was the build or buy issue. Would he get the sales platform built by the company's software development people? Or would he buy the OneView system from Sascom? He analysed his options and decided to base his decision on three factors. First, how quickly could he get the sales platform up and running? The OneView system could be ready within four weeks. It would take months, and maybe years, for the IT development team to create a solution. Clearly OneView won here. The second factor he considered was stability. OneView was working in Ireland and was branded a success by the local company. A new development would have bugs and the solution would be unstable for a good period while these bugs were ironed out. 
Again, the fact that one view was a proven solution made it the leading contender. However, it was the final factor, the cost, that made him decide on one view. Building a complex IT system from scratch would cost many millions to build. So he decided if he could negotiate a reasonable price with Sascom for the one view system, then he would go with that solution. The rest is now history. Within a number of weeks, he had negotiated a deal with Sascom. The OneView system was installed and the first product, Gadget Insurance, was on the market.